Hey guys, so this Anytime workflow right here will help you spy on your competitors in terms of content creation, okay? So if you're content creator in Anytime or automation or any other niche, uh, this Anytime workflow can help you spy on any person or content creator on Instagram in terms of their content, okay? So let me give you an example here. So I have a, a Nick Arrive, and uh, he's like one of the one of the biggest one uh, one of the biggest ones in terms of being content creator for N8N or automation and automation general, right? He has a bunch of followers and all of his posts are doing really, really good. You guys can see uh, he has like 6,000 likes, uh, 4,000 likes, 3.5 thousand likes, right? So the guy is doing really good. So for example, if I'm kind of creator who's just starting off and maybe I want to know what kind of content is doing the best for him so I can maybe, um, you know, follow the same patterns or maybe do something similar, right? Or maybe get an inspiration. So this Anytime workflow will scrape his Instagram account for the most viral or I would say the top five viral contents on his Instagram, okay? And it's gonna break it down basically into a caption, what kind of caption was used, how many likes, how many comments, which hashtags he's using, and when the content was posted, okay? And it's even gonna give me a, a video link to the video, so you guys can see, uh, I can even see the actual uh, piece of the content. So now I know what kind of captions were used, what kind of hashtags were used, and what kind of a style of the content was used and how was the script written, okay? So all this is now and the spreadsheet right here, and you can this, you can apply this to any kind of creator. This 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 doesn't really apply just to automation or NATN. It can be beauty, it can be fashion, it can be lifestyle, it can be literally anything out there. Okay, so uh, if you want to know how it works, let's break it down into a note by note. So if you want to build this, you can do it for yourself or maybe for your clients. Um, and as well, if you're a beginner, you will be learning the foundations of NATN. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and dive into the actual workflow. Let's go, guys. So everything starts with a manual uh, trigger, okay? Um, but you can do it maybe on a daily basis. You can replace this with a scheduled trigger, right? So it's gonna be running daily, let's say like 9 a.m., 3 p.m., whatever you wanna set as a time. Uh, if you wanna do that, just go here, add a note, and do a schedule trigger, okay? So it's gonna be running on a schedule instead of manual execution. So you will be basically uh, getting daily or you, you can set it for weekly, uh, you know, list of the videos that were or are doing the best for this kind of creator. So you can kind of a, uh, get inspiration from that and do it yourself, okay? So we are executing the workflow manually. Um, then we're gonna be getting the list of the kind of creators that we wanna basically spy on or get inspired from. In my case, it's gonna be uh, Nick's Rev. I'm using here in a spreadsheet two tabs. So get creators, actually I have two of them, okay? Well, so of Jay from Robo Nuggets, he's pretty big, uh, but he's more active in school and uh, on YouTube. But again, also we're using basically two kind of creators, uh, Nick Sreif and Jay uh, from Robo Nuggets. And in your case, you can add any kind of creator on Instagram and it's gonna do the same uh, functionality, okay? So we're getting the database of the kind of creators we wanna get inspiration from. Uh, then we're gonna push that into a uh, API uh, okay, and here we're using a Appify API, and it's basically Instagram real scraper. Okay, so Appify is actually think of it as a marketplace uh, for pretty much any a like API web scraper you can imagine. So if I search for uh, uh, Instagram Reels, okay, you have a lot of options. Okay, there's like a bunch of different ones. We're using one of these ones, and what's cool about it, it's really easy to set it up. Uh, because it explains you exactly how to use it. It gives you the JSON format, uh, right? So that's how it works. Here you have the JSON format. Uh, in a sense, it tells you what kind of data you can pull uh, from that scraper. So if I go to my uh, Anytime workflow right here, and if I open up the HTTP node, which is basically the API request, and if I scroll down to the body, into the JSON body, you guys can see I'm using a similar JSON uh, format here. So what I'm pulling or what I want to pull from the Appify uh, Instagram uh, real scraper, okay? So I obviously need to pull the content creator. So we're using the Instagram handle, then we're doing a uh, basically expression, okay? So in, and then dynamic data or variable data is coming from expressions. And if you ask me where is this coming from? So this is coming actually from the spreadsheet guys, okay? So if you look on the left side right here, you guys are gonna see I have this IG handle. 
Okay, so if I delete all of this, for example, right, like this, okay, let me just add a bit of space. And if I add IG, IG handle here, you guys are gonna see it's essentially uh, the same thing that gets rendered out right here. Okay, so that's how we are pulling the expressions from the N8N. Okay, it's really easy, just drag and drop whatever you wanna uh, pull as a data from the expression. Um, then we are saying is user, um, is user real feed URL, okay? Uh, because we wanna make sure that we pulling the reels from the feed, which is true. Uh, is user tagged feed URL, uh, this is false. Uh, basically, this is saying is the user tagged uh, as in as an Instagram tag uh, on the feed. Uh, we don't need that in this case. We're limiting result to a 30 results max. You want more, uh, you can add 50, 80, 60, 100. Uh, just, make, just note that your API cost will be uh, more expensive or you're gonna use more uh, credits. Or Appify doesn't really use credits. They use a different um, token system. If we go to pricing, Right, so basically they're using a uh, compute unit, basically how long is their like uh, CPUs running to execute this functionality. But again, with something like $39, uh, if I would be running this uh, scraper like, like crazy every day, I can easily do this like, I don't know, a lot of times, more than 100 times uh, a month, okay? Even more than that, so it really depends on the scraper um, because each scraper has a bit different computing unit uh, pricing. But again, you're gonna get quite a lot of, uh, you know, API requests from the $300 a month if you want to. But you can start $5 more enough to give it a try and see if you like Appify or no. But again, I do suggest if you're doing web scraping, definitely go with Appify because they, uh, they have a web scraper for literally everything. Okay, so uh, results types are posts. Okay, search limit is one. We want to do only one search uh, search limit only once. Okay, and we are searching based on the users. Uh, you can also do it based on the hashtags. Just delete this one and basically type in hashtag, okay? But again, you will need to refer to the official API document from here. So for example, again, let me go here and do something like Instagram Reels just to show you an example. And if I open this one again, um, how we are getting this data, we're getting this data from the um, from the output here, okay? So here we can see kind of what kind of data we can get. So we can get hashtags, we can get mentions, uh, the URL for the video, comments count, dimensions, what's the size of the video, uh, video URL, likes count, stuff like that. So that's essentially how we are coming up with the JSON format here in the sense like, this is how we, this is how we know what exactly we want to get from the API, okay? Because this, this is not coming from the air, this is all coming from the documentation in here, guys, okay? All right, guys, and then we are using sort by views, okay? Uh, essentially, this is a node, it's called sort. Okay, that's exactly, it does exactly what it says. Uh, it's sorting based on something, okay? So here we are sorting uh, based on a field name, which is basically video play count. So we are um, we are sorting on based on which videos has the most uh, plays, okay? And then it goes in the descending order. At uh, this way, we're pulling basically the most viewed videos in a descending order. And then we're gonna be using a, a limit, which is the, it's exactly, it, it does exactly what it says. It's limits to a certain, uh, to a certain something, okay? So here we're limiting to five items because we only want to have a uh, five posts that are like, got the most views. And we are keeping the, the first items, okay? So the, the, video, the first five videos that have the most views uh, or plays, those are the ones we wanna keep, okay? And then we're gonna basically loop over all the items, okay, because there might be more items. Uh, like for example, here, we have two creators. So once it runs this flow for the uh, next drive, once it finishes, it's gonna run the workflow again for a J from Ro Robo Nuggets, okay? So if you had, for example, three, four, five, six, whatever, 10 kind of creators, it's gonna lo loop over these kind of creators 10 times, okay? So that's essentially what it does. It's looping over those items. And at the end, we are logging everything into a spreadsheet. And here we are using uh, expressions to do so, okay? So creator, uh, real URL. So if I open my uh, spreadsheet here, and if I go to log creators, you guys are gonna see I have the same rows in here, okay? Uh, let me just go back all the way back to the top. So creator, real URL, caption, likes, comments, hashtags, timestamp, okay? So the same stuff happening in here. So creator, reels, uh, URL, caption, likes, and whatever. So how are we getting these ones? Uh, again, it's not coming from thin air. 
if I look to my left, okay, you guys can see it says a caption. So if I delete the caption right here, you guys can see JSON that caption. Uh, this is the expression if I delete that. And if I pull this from here to here, you guys are gonna see it's exactly the same thing. So that's how we are pulling data. So you just really need to go through the JSON output that you see here and just really decide what do you want to track, what kind of information you will log, you know, what's important for your business logic or what do you want, what do you want to do with this data, okay? So in our case, we just want to know who is the creator, what's the URL, what is the caption, and a bunch of other stuff that we want to check. So we can create similar content or get inspired from that content, okay? So if I scroll down here, uh, we can see the rest of the video, okay? So the rest, rest of the video KPIs, so video view count, video play count, um, you know, who is the artist. Uh, basically, this is the, uh, the handle, uh, IG handle. Okay, and then you have a bunch of more stuff, even all the way down to a song name. So if somebody's using uh, viral songs, it's gonna be logged in here, okay? It's pretty awesome. So there's a lot of cool data that you can log if you want to, it's really up to you. Um, so it will be, you know, it will depend on your business logic and on your business decision, what do you wanna get from this workflow? All right, guys, and that's about it. And as a beginner, uh, if you're a complete beginner, I'm leaving this uh, really uh, tiny sticky note right here, which includes the link to the spreadsheet itself. Okay, so it's gonna be you here because if you're gonna download the uh, this workflow, which will be available as a free download, guys, you will need the spreadsheet as well. So you will need a couple of things here. Uh, first of all, if you're using Appify, you will need to go to Appify and create an account. Just go to Appify, uh, Appify.com, uh, then go to console. Okay, in my case, I've already logged in. Um, and then just go to your billing and make sure you have your credit card um, and you've added some credits, okay? Or you, you got a plan, for example, because uh, once your $5 credit expires, you will need to go to paid plan. But if you don't wanna do that, if you wanna go with $5 first, make sure to generate your API key in Appify. And to do that, just go here. Uh, let me just go back. Um, once you are here on your console, go here and click on the right corner side where it says API and just under here, uh, API token. Okay, just click on this one here to copy it. All right, then go back to NITN, open the HTTP node that handles the API. Um, then you're gonna go here um, under the header of, then you're gonna go on create new credential. Okay, um, here I do believe it's uh, authorization and possibly barrier. Um, let's check it out guys quickly, okay? Let's see how they are ask, asking it exactly. Okay, so if I go to their um, API documentation, okay, this will be important guys, and also kind of learning how to figure out these things out. So you guys can see other the authentication, okay? Um, here they explain to you that the way request is handled, it's through authorization for the header, and you also have something better, okay? Really important because, so the way it works, uh, if you're just gonna copy paste your API key in here, uh, it's not gonna do anything, it's gonna crash. So what you're gonna do, uh, you need to copy the name authorization or just type it in if you want to. So in the name here, we're gonna type in authorization, make sure there's no extra space. And then you're gonna do something like this, okay? You see here, they say something like barrier and then your token. So the way it's gonna work guys, let me just open up my notepad quickly, okay? So in here, how it's gonna work guys, let me just kind of go side by side. So you're gonna do something like this, uh, bear, okay? And here you're gonna have your API key that you copy, paste, or create it in, in uh, Appify, okay? So barrier, word barrier, you go to space, and then here is your Appify uh, API key, for example, okay? So all these together, then you copy paste this entire thing, guys. Go back to N8N, and here you're gonna copy paste your API, and now you've successfully connected your Appify to N8N. Really easy, guys, it's gonna take a couple of times, uh, but at least now you know how to uh, work with documentations and how to look for the right information, okay? But if you're still running into issues, let me know in the comments and I'm gonna help you out, guys. Don't worry about it, okay? And then click save and you're gonna be um, good to go. And that's essentially it, guys. That's how it works. Uh, make sure to download this workflow for free. It's gonna be available uh, below the video in the description box. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment. I'm gonna get back to you guys 100%. Um, I'm gonna ask you to like and subscribe so I can make these uh, so I can keep making this video for you guys. And as always, I'm going to wish you happy building and I'm going to see you next time.